what's up guys um so this is gonna be another ADHD gremlin story about my life because it's the only life I've lived so it's the only life I can tell stories about other than the fictional stories I made up in my noggin that I'm using in my books but now I'm getting off task so yep this is just gonna be another story time with me while I take my makeup off because I am also filming a get ready and write with me today so I need to take this look off so I can do a brand new look on camera so yeah I'll be doing two things at once today um okay so today's story time this is such a yeah this video is going great already okay so today's story time is about the time who is calling me I do do I know you hello no I don't Bam. anywho all right so anyway so this is about the time I chased a mouse around my classroom okay so first thing you gotta know is the week this happened was the last week of school before we went on Christmas break and if you've been in school at all then you would know that the last week of school before Christmas break is a wash there's, there's, there's no learning going on during that week. The students are done. The teachers are done. The janitors are done. The principals are done. The flies on the walls are done. Like, everyone's done. We just want to go home, sip some hot cocoa, and sing Christmas carols. Like, no, we're done. But because I'm a teacher, I have to, you know, try and get them to learn something. It never works out that last week, but I have to try. So what I did to try and, you know, make it fun is we watched three different versions of Christmas Carol. We watched a stage play version out of, I think, Boston or something like that. Uh, we watched the Muppets version and we watched the Mickey Mouse version. And then we were doing, you know, a little compare and contrast activity. It was in the standards. It was in the state standards. It's fine. It's fine. Stop, stop worrying about what I'm doing in my classroom, principals and lead teachers. I'm following the standards, it's fine. Mm. Anywho. So we're filling out this compare and contrast chart, and I ask my students, okay, so what do you think the tone of the Mickey Mouse version would be? Now, in this particular period, this happened in my first period, I had these three boys... They sit in the back row, and they think they're the most macho man who ever machoed. Okay, they think they're all that in a bag of chips. So I ask, what was the tone of the Mickey Mouse version of Christmas Carol? And one of my girls, she raised her hand, and I'm call, I call on her, like, yes. And she's like, well, I thought it was really cute and really sweet. And these three boys in the back, they all just kind of puff up, you know, like, I ain't writing cute and sweet on my paper. No, I'm a man. Men don't use words like cute and sweet. So, of course, I just look at them. I'm like, it's a word. It's a descriptive word. We're in English class. Like, which, what do you mean you don't write? You don't write uh, cute and sweet. Like, they're words. What do you, what do you get? What are you on? What are you getting on about? They were adamant. They just were not going to write down cute and sweet on their paper because their bros would judge them because apparently men can't say words like cute and sweet. I, just, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. This is the mind of a 15-year-old boy, y'all. So I'm going back and forth. I'm trying to get them to, you know, stop being ridiculous. And then all of a sudden, one of my boys, the biggest of the boys, mind you, jumps to his feet and screams. And I'm just looking at him, I was like, what on earth is wrong with you? And he's like, Miss T, there's a rat! There's a rat! Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm also a yearbook teacher. So I have kind of a little 
stuffed bag. It kind of looks like a suitcase where I keep my background stands. So, you know, when we do the pictures for the yearbook, the gray background they put behind you. But we got to put it on a stand. And I have a little stand that you put the background on. But when we're not taking pictures, I keep them in like this little suitcase looking case in my room. So he's pointing at this case going, it's a rat. It's a rat. It's a rat. I go over there and I move it to see what's going on. It's a mouse. Just a mouse, like, not even that big. Just a little e-bitty mouse. All of my kids, all the students, jump up on top of their desks, screaming bloody murder. My teacher aides runs out of the room. Everybody's screaming. And, of course, the three who are screaming the loudest are my three boys who think they're the most macho men who ever macho. They're screaming louder than anybody. And just having an absolute fit over a mouse is not even that big. Now, what you don't, what y'all may not know about me, well, if you follow my TikTok, you probably know, but if you just found me on here, I grew up in South America. So I grew up with the Andacondas and the Tarantulas and the Cayman. So am I scared of a little mouse that big? No. So I have a 10. On my, that I keep on my desk. I used to keep scissors with it. What is going on with my lighting right now? Like, hello? Lighting? Why are you... <sighs> Whatever. So I dump the scissors out. I grab the tin. And I'm trying to, you know, catch the mouse. All my kids screaming, 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 blame murder. One of the coaches overhears. He comes in. He's trying to help me catch the mouse. Or oh, he was trying to step on the mouse and squish it. I, I didn't... And so I start yelling at him because I didn't want to kill the little thing. I just wanted to catch it so I could put it outside. But the mouse was faster than all of us. He's fa too fast. He runs into a little closet. I have. Why is my lighting going crazy right now? Whatever. This story time's going great. So I have a little closet. A little closet at the front of my room that I keep, like, you know, poster paper. And the little stencils with letters in them and all that. The mouse runs in there. And then there's a little hole in the back of the closet. And it runs in there. And it's gone. It probably went into the classroom next door. But I never heard of it. So I call my kids in. They're like, guys, it's okay. The mouse is gone. Mouse has left the building. It's all good. They all come back. We try to go on with class. Of course, their nerves are shot. That's probably my door dash. I'll handle that later. Their nerves are shot over a mouse this big, which I don't, I don't get, I don't get, I don't, I don't get it. It's just a little itty bitty cute mouse. He's not going to hurt you. Anyways, but they all come in. They all sit down, except for my three boys who think they're the most macho men who ever macho. They sit on top of their desks. On top of their desks. Will not put their feet on the ground because I guess they think... The mouse is going to bite their toes off. I don't know. The t their toes were bigger than the mouse. I'm just sitting there. I'm just looking at him. It's like, you know, for three boys who made such a fuss over using words like sweet and cute, y'all sure did scream like you were sweet and cute. Of course, going, oh, no, no. Come on, Miss T. Don't play us like that. Oh, no. I'm going to play you like that because you're acting ridiculous. <laughs> like I said. This happened in first period. And I work in a very small school. There's only like 200 students. And so by the time first period had ended, everyone knew there had been a mouse in my classroom. So all my classes, they coming in and they're like, Miss T, was there really a rat in your room? A rat. I'm like, no, it was a mouse. He was barely two inches long. It was not a rat. But if you see so-and-so and so-and-so, who I know told you it was a rat... I want you to give them a hard time because they were giving me a hard time about putting words like cute and sweet on their paper, but they screamed like little girls. I told every single one of my class periods that because these, bo these boys, they, they need their ego taken down a little bit. That's not me being hateful. That's just me. Look, pride comes before the fall and it's better you have your fall in high school than when you're growing up with a job. I cannot get this eyeliner off. Ugh. I... That's, that's a story for another time. Why I struggle with eyeliner. Anyway. So I told all my classes that next day, they come in, and like this. 
Miss T, why'd you tell everyone we screamed? I'm like, cause you screamed. No, we didn't. Yeah, you did. No, we didn't. You screamed so loud, the people at the end of the hall heard you. Now, stop, stop lying. You screamed, okay. They go and they sit down. Quiet for a minute. Is the rat gone? It's a mouse! And yes, it's gone! It's over six feet tall and you're worried about a mouse this big. Give me a break. So yeah, that's the story of how I chased a mouse around my classroom. I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!